Eight minutes, 47, 46 seconds of silence at Dallas City Hall, a prayerful remembrance for George Floyd this morning. The amount of time he was held under a Minneapolis officer's knee. Thank you for joining us this midday. On Friday, I'm Sonia Azad. Uh, look, it has been an emotional week as we remember the man who called Houston home before moving to the Twin Cities. Our Hannah Davis joins us live from City Hall. And Hannah, I saw some of the video that you posted on your Instagram stories. Very powerful. Uh, tell us about the remembrance. Uh, Sonia, it was powerful. Um, I would say it's in one of the top events I've gone to as a journalist when you talk about that. And it really was about the diverse crowd that came out here. I'm talking about white, black, male, female, gay, straight Republicans, Democrats, and then every faith gathering as well, all out here for one reason and because of one man, and that man is George Floyd. You can take a look at this gathering where we heard from those faith leaders from all across of DFW, leaders from churches, synagogues, mosques, all around the area. They took turns sharing their prayers. They prayed for Mr. Floyd. They prayed for his family. They prayed for police for the country. And they also, a lot of them, called on leadership to do better. This is a moment that drew applause and cheers from the crowd from one of the rabbis that spoke. Take a listen. Heal us, O oh Lord, from the embarrassment of thinking there is no need for change. We know that you are not impressed when someone holds up a Bible, but love it when someone holds up the values of justice and compassion the Bible teaches. Now, city leaders also spoke, including Mayor Eric Johnson, who said change is needed and that he would work to bring it about. He did not go into too many specifics about what that would look like, what changes he's talking about exactly. Uh, but then this meeting, it all culminated with that eight minute and 46 second moment of silence for George Floyd. Like Sonia had said, the reason they chose this amount of time is because that's the amount of time that a Minneapolis police officer had his knee on George Floyd's neck. It really was one of the most powerful things that I've witnessed as a journalist or just living here in the city of Dallas. Take a look. And that powerful moment, we were also hearing from uh, folks who talked about that, that in that moment while you were kneeling for the eight minutes and 46 seconds, there was discomfort, there was pain, and those leaders said, think about George Floyd in that moment. And he believed that everybody was thinking at that time what that was like. Uh, so many people from so many different backgrounds here, but they all reiterated two things. One, they said this unity was important, but number two, they said that this is the beginning that this is the beginning of change, action also has to take place as well. Sonia, back to you.